What's up guys? We are back from sick week and the hatch did so freaking good over the course of sick week. We ran a mid nine at every track. We had little to no issues whatsoever. Just that axle binding up. We got that fixed. And other than that, it was smooth sailing the whole way through over 800 miles on a dog box transmission. And we finished it off with a 9.3 at 152 miles an hour. The hatch is just blowing me away, boys. With a bigger turbo, she would definitely run an eight second pass like nothing. And the all wheel drive system is working so good. Everything held up great. And I can't just be more proud of how this car did. And I'm so happy to see the OG car finally back up and running again. I know a lot of you guys are excited to see this thing too. But literally, this was my first vehicle ever. Drove this thing to high school. And to see where it has come is just insane. And she's not done yet there. But uh, for now, we're gonna give this thing a break. We got some more updates for you guys. Um, also, I did want to say it did suck what happened to Shane and Brent with his car wrecking and stuff. I didn't wanna put any of that into my video because um, you know I didn't feel like that was something I should be covering. They kind of showed their side of things, but we do feel for them that does you know, really suck and it was an unfortunate way to go out because they put in a lot of work to make it, but at least they did finish. So there is that, but they actually got out of here the other day. They're heading back down to Colorado and uh, Jamie's staying with us for a little bit, but he'll be heading out here soon as well. But I just wanted to let you guys know that I'm just pumped on how the hatch did. And today we have some updates on the Routacy. So before we left to uh, go to sick week, we got some parts in for the Radice's new transmission and we filmed some stuff before we left to sick week. You'll also notice in the background that the red MR2 was in the video, but as of right now, the red MR2 from our giveaway is officially gone. It's sad to see, but we came home and she is no longer here. We got it onto a shipping truck and shipped to the giveaway winner. His name was Nick. So once again, congratulations to Nick. The car is now in Maine at its new home and it took us a little bit of time to get it all put together, get it tuned on pump gas form, and we just wanted to make sure the car was as ready as it could be, so that's why it took us a while to get it out. I saw some people commenting, like, why is the giveaway car still there? We were still finishing it up, but we were definitely, you know, talking back and forth with Nick. He knew the weight. But the red MR2 is officially in Maine with the winner of the giveaway, so we will not be seeing it anymore. And with that note, let's go ahead and show you guys what we got going on the Radicees transmission here. For anyone wondering what's been going on with the Radicee, we have an update today for you guys. Radicee is actually back over there sitting outside all sad because we have been waiting on some parts to get that thing put back together. And today we got a very fancy piece for the Radicee. And this is pretty much one of two final things that we could do to the transmission to make it as fully built as possible. So if you look right here, I got all of our transmission pieces laid back out for the Radicee here. If you guys remember when the trans and the NSX broke, that bearing let go and the counter shaft got all wallowed out on the bottom, we ended up borrowing the counter shaft and final drive gear from the Radicee's transmission because I had to take that crown gear to match the ratio of that shaft that got damaged in the NSX. If you look right here, we have ourselves a brand new counter shaft. These are the existing gears that were already in the Radicee's transmission and I got the counter shaft slid back in between those guys. And this is the original problem that happened to the van back when we had it at the Ice Cream Cruise, this input shaft broke and that is no good anymore, obviously. So right here we have a brand new input shaft and I got our two gears that go on there ready to go. And then this is our final drive ring gear that we stole the other one for the NSX. We stole that gear and this shaft, all that went to the NSX. So basically the minivan's transmission was missing a lot of parts, but we got everything we need now to get it back together. And when the transmission broke, it actually broke our bell housing as well because when that came apart, all of those gears trying to separate inside of there pushed the back of the bell housing out by where the throwout bearing is, cracked the bell housing so it's ruined. And we decided to upgrade that piece as well. And that is what is inside this box right here. We're ready to open this puppy up. Ooh, shameless plug. Uh, Check out we, that t-shirt. Oh, uh, what the, <laughs> built for a good time? Yep, those things sold like hotcakes. Not a long time though, they do break. <laughs> Hopefully not after this. Hopefully this will be built for a good time for and a long stay time. stay together for a long time. And my first complaint about this is all the peanuts. Packing peanuts will be the death of me. <laughs> Oof. Big oof. There's no way to go about this, dude. We just gotta, <laughs> gotta bring that trash can over and shovel them in. Nice about this one, too, is this is an off-the-shelf unit, right? Not yep. super custom like the HC. Yeah, that one we had to wait for a while, but 
This is a K-Series one, and these are readily available. Oh, baby. Sheesh. Check that unit out. That. That is a spicy unit. That is a chunk. Get this bubble wrap out of the way. And so, see that DC logo on there? Yeah, drag cartel. So, Dude, that very so similar crazy. to the one that's in the hatch, but for a K-Series, this is our new billet bell housing for the Rao to see. And this is the all-wheel drive version. And we have another one coming for the MR2 that is just the front-wheel drive version. And we're sending it. We're getting all the nicest parts we can for the transmissions. We just don't want to spare any expense at this point. We want the Rao to see to be as bad as it can. We want the hatch to be as bad as it can. We want them to all be as bad as they can. And you start with the transmission because that's what we always end up breaking. So we're just getting the nicest of the nice parts. But uh, yeah. There she is, just like the hatch, like I said, you got the spot for the transfer case off the back there, and our Quaif sequential gear stacks will go right into this guy, and it will go together just like a normal K-Series transmission, except this will be in a nice sturdy billet case, and this puppy will not be breaking anytime soon. Knock on wood, <laughs> <laughs> hopefully. Knowing us, it might break yeah. tomorrow. <laughs> Never know. Yeah, that thing's solid, bro. But yeah, that is one beautiful piece right there. This is from Drag Cartel, and I am uh, very pumped about this. So now we have everything we need to get the minivan's transmission back together, and I'm gonna go ahead and start on that today. And this was one of the final pieces we were waiting on to get that done. These are definitely pricey, so I decided just to wait it out and spend the extra money and just get the nice part. So. Yeah, we can go ahead and start getting this guy together and then we'll have a trans ready to go back into the van. And when we're back from sick week, we can focus on the route so you can get that thing up and running again because we got ourselves an eight second minivan to build and it's coming. And it starts with this transmission right here, boys. All right, guys, I'm just about ready to start getting the sequential transmission back together for the Rao to see with our new billet bell housing. What I'm doing right now is just double checking the clearances on the differential since we do have a new bell housing. It doesn't hurt to double check. And after I checked, it turns out we were a little loose and I was just gonna show you guys how we did that real quick. So this is the case from the MR2. Um, for reference, right now everything's bolted together. Just the differential is inside right now, nothing else. I just have a couple bolts clamping all of that and what we are measuring is the gap between a factory shim that's right there and the top of the case and that needs to be anywhere from zero to four thousandths and we were sitting at like 12 so i actually got another shim here's the one that was in there so this guy just sits up in there like so and then this is a stock diff this sits clamped in between there so i'm just measuring the gap in between the shim in this bearing or the shim in the case because it's easier to get the feeler gauge in there, but we are right on the money. It's about three thousandths fits in there snug. I can shove the fourth thou one in there, but it is tight. But now we know we are good to go. And from this point forward, I can go ahead and get everything assembled. That should be the only thing I needed to check while converting everything into this new billet case. I got everything laid out just like I showed you. So I'm gonna go ahead and start slapping this thing together. All right guys, I got the gear stacks in along with the shift barrel and we are about ready to close this sucker up with the other half of the case there, but I just wanted to get one good look at this thing. It is such a beauty. All that sequential goodness inside of the billet case here. That is one bad unit, dude. It's sick, All man. for a minivan. It's gonna be the baddest minivan in the world. Tell you what, dude, <laughs> really sick. Dude, I'm pumped for this. But uh, yeah, that's pretty much it, boys. Everything's ready to go. Everything lines up great. And like I said, double check tolerances. There's some little modifications we did have to make uh, to our billet case, not itself, but some other little things to make work, like this bearing thing had to be ground down and got to modify the magnet a little bit, but that's all stuff you guys don't care about too much. And I'm gonna go ahead and close it up and that will be it. The van's transmission will be ready to go and then we'll stab a transfer case on it. And once we get back to the Radice when we're 
back from sick week, this thing's gonna go back together. She's gonna be bad. Dude, I'm excited to see this thing run like a high eight second pass. Like it's gonna happen. It's gonna happen. It's gonna be badass. We're gonna have an eight second odyssey. Yep. Just you wait, boys. It's going down. I'm trying something new on the transmission for the Radisee here. We got the two nuts on the top shafts all torqued down. They have Loctite on them. This one right here is staked, good to go. We've never had issues with this one coming loose, but we have still had this little nut come loose even after we've staked it because there's not much material to stake and the lip kind of breaks off. It's hard to see on the GoPro, but got it over on the welding table and I literally just threw a tiny little tack on there and it has Loctite on it. So there should be no reason that nut should ever come loose. So we're gonna try that out. If this works well and the transmission in the van seems to last a long time this way, then it might become a regular process for us. But wanted to try it out, throw a tack on there. She should be good to go. And if we ever need to take this loose, we can literally just uh, grind it down with a small Dremel and just take the impact and it will bust that loose, no problem. And it's tacked in a spot where there are no threads so it won't damage anything coming off. So we should be good to go. Now I just gotta get the cap back on and the transmission for the Rousey is done. Well boys, there she is, our fully assembled Quaif sequential transmission for our minivan with our brand new drag cartel billet case. This thing is quite the work of art. I am very excited for this. We are missing a couple things. We still have to get the axle seal on there. We have bigger axles, so it's not the same as the factory axle seal. I got the other side in, that one's ready to go because it just uses the factory half shaft. But other than that, and like the speed sensor, other little things, she's ready to go. And then another big thing is we have to get the transfer case still for the Radice's transmission because we stole the one that was meant to be in this for the hatch. It is a very nice upgraded unit and that was gonna go to the minivan, but we decided to put it in the hatch for sick week so we didn't have any issues on sick week with possibly breaking a stock one and we did not have any issues on sick week. So I think our plan played out pretty good and the hatch did so good that I think it deserves that piece. It needs that upgraded stuff because it just works so well with zero issues. So we're gonna go ahead and do a, another upgraded transfer case, just like the hatch, but for the Routacy here, and we are sparing no expense for the Routacy's drivetrain. This is one pricey unit right here after everything that we've done to it. Easily worth more than 20 times the value of the van. Bought this thing for 500 bucks from some crackhead in Denver, and now we're throwing, yeah. you know, 10,000 hey. plus dollar transmissions into it that and expensive engine parts but you know what it's the baddest route to see out there dude there ain't nothing else like it so it's worth every penny yeah dude i hope you guys are excited it's gonna be one bad minivan i mean you guys already saw how serious the route he was before but we just had so many drivetrain issues with our little axles snapping but we have upgraded dss axles we're gonna put the proper diff in this thing it should be able to hold up to all the abuse we're about to throw at this thing. I just really wanna see the Routacy launch hard. That's one thing that this has not been able to do since we put it together. The drivetrain could just not handle a gnarly all-wheel drive launch. She's also a big girl, so she's been going on a diet. I also wanna show something why it has been working on that will help with that diet. Every we, pound Yeah, every pound we gotta get out of there. So this is the factory steering wheel and column, and that's a pretty hefty chunk right there. Nothing crazy, but probably solid 20, 25 pounds. Yeah, it's not light by any means. And we went ahead and got rid of that. Yep. And Wyatt has been working on the new steering column in the route see here. So if you look at this, we have ourselves a steering column kit from Motion Raceworks yep. along with the steering wheel. This is their updated one too with their nice new quick release. Very oh solid. yeah, we gotta show that real quick. Here, hold this light for a second because on their new one, it uh, has this unique shape on the end there, so you don't have to fish around trying to find where that extra tooth is missing, or it has like a fatter tooth on the old style, but this one you can't mess it up. It just 
slides right on nice and simply unless you're kyle unless you're me you just line that guy up like so and she clicks right on good to go and why it just went off of the factory mounting places where the column came from so tied in real nice got all that welded up and then just cut the end off the factory uh, shaft there and welded that on to the motion raceworks column we are yeah. good to go we got steering no more kicking the tires yeah it was really taking this thing in and out that, of the shop so, yeah and just the the lightweight man and just so simple you know you don't have to worry about the lock cylinder locking up on it anymore like that was something that kind of worried yeah, that, mr2 a while back so. yeah because we put everything on buttons so we didn't need the key to start the car anymore and if you forgot to stick the key in yeah, and unlock the wheel we might accidentally make a pass and like lock the steering wheel if we forgot to do that so it's big safety hazard too so we just you know got rid of that we don't need any of it yep so we lock deleted cleaner. it lock cleaner don't too. need it delete it don't need it delete it yeah it she does gone. look really clean that came out really nice why well, i did an awesome job on that and then i believe we're still going to probably skin the doors at some point yeah yeah, put um, her on a nice diet. You're here. gonna do that to me after I made the windows all work. I know. Uh, I just we're gonna God. leave it for now. We're gonna leave it for now. We'll get her all together and get her down the scales and see yeah. what it's weighing. If we but need the extra couple of pounds, if, they're gone. If it's worth it, then we yeah. might need to do That's that. A luxury, and this is a race van, so I know she's turning to race yeah. car. My Everything. original plan with the Rallisey was to be like a sleeper and still have all the um, just amenities, amenities and comforts of a minivan, but. You know it's just too heavy like that yeah. we want to actually make it functional and work and actually gap some fools in this thing so we might have to cut it up yeah. but you gotta do what you gotta do to be honest everything's a race car it just depends how race car you want to go i don't know so it's like it just keeps just leveling it up it just keeps getting closer and closer to that so <laughs> at some point we might be gutting the doors out just going full send on this thing i bet first day at the track the Rodicy clicks off and if it launches good and everything holds damn first day okay i'll take I, the first day not first pass. Not first pass, yeah. but first, first day, day at the track. Yeah. I bet we click off an eight in the route to see, especially yeah. seeing how well the hatch just did with the all wheel yeah. drive. If we have that same yeah. drive that train. Bottlenecked on horsepower. Yeah, and so if we badly. can get it to similar weight, I mean, we'll have a couple hundred pounds more here. Right. But, dude, the all wheel drive, if we can get this thing to launch, this has trapped over 154 in the quarter as it is, and the hatch did a 9.3 at 152. So and we know this has the power. Realistically, the hatch on the street's only making like 600 all wheel. Like it made more on the dyno, but more load. It's like considering how little a power and how fast that car went, this thing's gonna have some pretty awesome potential. Yeah, I think this will be right on par with how the hatch is doing, but you know, with an extra 400 horsepower on tap. Right. This thing has a big old turbo. I mean, you guys have seen it. Not, the Radicy's not new to the channel at all, right. but. And we could always turn it up more. I mean, rip, you know, we could throw more power. Look at the power the MR2 makes. Like if we really wanted to go full send, you know, we can make 12, 1300 horsepower and just send it. I don't know, boys. You might just see a 170 trap speed from <laughs> a 95 Honda Odyssey. Don't be too surprised here because we're fixing to send it. <laughs> that would be sick. I just <laughs> Also, the minivan to... record still needs to be broken. I said in a, in a video a while yeah. back, I was like, like the video, I'll go out and just to some road and crush it because it's like 165 miles an hour is the official minivan record. It took them like... really call that a minivan. It wasn't really a minivan, but... Kind of it like took them oversized wagon yeah but, it was on the hoonigan channel yeah. too and i was like well let's play with a real minivan we're, we're working on it boys she's coming and i think we can break the record in less than a quarter mile they needed like a whole full mile to get it up to that speed or whatever it was damn bro you're setting some really high goals for this thing dude the rallacy has I mean, to live up to the name it's gonna do it but damn we're swinging for everybody <laughs> <laughs> you heard that right boys we're rebuilding our thousand horse honda odyssey here and it's going to be actually fast compared to other 1,000-horse Honda Odysseys out there. Oof. If you know, you know. <laughs>